We're looking at a new class of RNA molecules. Over 90% of the human genome codes for these molecules, so they're extremely important. And for the very first time, we were able in Los Alamos to generate a 3D image of a long non-coding RNA molecule. Uh, they're sometimes called the dark matter of the genome, and that is because uh, scientists really don't understand at all how these molecules work or even what they look like. And it turns out that if you know the exact atomic 3D structure of a biomolecule, you can learn about a lot about how it works in terms of if it's a motor, is it some kind of molecular machine, and also you can learn a lot about what kinds of drugs bind to that molecule. So often you can solve almost the entire mechanism just by getting a detailed 3D image. This molecule that we looked at is called Braveheart. And it's really critical for transforming stem cells into heart cells. And understanding this molecule in more detail can lead to new strategies for regenerative medicine. This would be really useful for people with heart conditions due to cardiovascular disease or aging. The ultimate goal would be to actually grow a heart. These RNA molecules, uh, they serve the purpose of turning genes on and off. And you can think of them sort of as like an electrical uh, circuitry uh, governing all the different on-off decisions that have to be made in the cell. So these uh, RNAs are critical for these on-off decisions, and when they malfunction, very bad things can happen. These can lead to birth defects, to autism, and in some cases, even cancer. And then further down the road, where we're going with this is that uh, it's been hypothesized that these RNAs actually interact with the uh, human genome itself, the DNA. Uh, but we hope that if we can go to higher and higher resolution of these molecules and image them with DNA, we can unlock some of those secrets.